Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we catch up on the latest teasers for Dark Deception Chapter 4. It's been nearly two years since the launch of Dark Deception Chapter 3, but the penultimate episode of this crazy Maze Runner is primed to release in the near future. To tide us over, Glowstick Entertainment has posted a selection of new screenshots and a brand new trailer. These don't give too much away, but we still are given enough information to form a speculative opinion of the direction these new levels and their monsters are heading. In the first part of the video, I'll join you for my reaction and analysis to the trailer, and then we'll follow up with a full breakdown of the three screenshots revealed beforehand. So sit back, relax, and let's step back inside the Nightmare Portal together. Okay guys, we're about to watch Teaser 2 for Dark Deception. Haven't seen it yet, I'm recording this way ahead of my video analysis obviously, just so I can watch it and do a reaction. And I thought, might as well put the face cam on so that I can have a, you know, a proper look at it with you guys. So, we're gonna watch this teaser, it's about, I think, 53-54 seconds long. So, yeah, without further ado, let's see what Teaser 2 has in store. I haven't edited this video, so I have no clue as to what's gonna be the content. So, let's just check this out. Here we go. That's a joy joy music. This is a cave. I think this is Mama Bear's level, isn't it? Bare barely buried. It looks nice. The visuals look nice. Got some lanterns lighting our way. And we've got some torches on the wall too, a bit more old fashioned. Seems like we're getting a bit more old school there. Oh wow, that's the Joy Joy Castle. It's like under construction. That's awesome. And this, this must be the escape sequence that we've heard. That looks like we're running away. Wait, what's that? <laughs> Kind of weird. <laughs> I think that was the um, Joy Joy gang all like having a laugh at Doug's expense there. I think we can all agree that the trailer looks visually striking, but beyond the visuals, what can we learn here? Well, let's begin with the first half of the trailer, which showcases some new footage from the final portal found within Chapter 4, Barely Buried. In these new clips, Doug carefully navigates an eerily quiet cave system. Visibility is low, and our only guide is the dim light emanating from lanterns placed sparingly through the craggy environment. I suspect that there will be areas of pitch darkness to navigate at times too. Don't count on these lanterns to be found everywhere. This will make powers such as telepathy vital if we hope to survive against Mama Bear and her trigger teddies, who will no doubt patrol the darkest reaches of these caves. It's interesting to note that the deeper we explore within these caves, the more things seem to age. Notice how the lanterns look fairly modern early on, but gradually change into old-fashioned flaming torches like those used in medieval times as Doug reaches the lower levels. Could this be a simple artistic choice, or a hint at some kind of purposeful story element? We'll have to wait and see, but it's an interesting observation nonetheless. In the second half of the trailer we get a look at two new shots from the second stage mascot mayhem. Set inside the theme park Joy Joy Land and the facility where animatronics are brought to life located beneath. The first shot showcases the castle at the heart of this park, an enormous towering structure still under construction. Perhaps a representation of Doug's troubled home life, a home that never felt complete to him and was rampant with dysfunction. A thick, smog-like mist engulfs the park, again meaning visibility will be low, and the player will have to rely on both their powers and a keen sense of hearing in order to steer clear of danger. Finally, notice how the buildings have a European look to them. Now this may simply be a design choice, or it could tie in to a certain character found within Beers' story. The character of Victor, who set Beerus on a path that would lead to her sole forfeit to Malak and her imprisonment within the ballroom. There was someone new at the party last night. A dark, handsome man with a strange accent. I took him for a European. Maybe one of Lugosi's Hungarian friends. I finally learned his name. Victor. Beerus mentions in her diaries that Victor was Hungarian. 
Now, if we reference the kind of architecture found in typical Hungarian towns, it sure looks familiar when paired against the building seen here in Joyjoyland. It has long been my theory that these portals were originally designed for Beers and simply take elements of Doug's own life into account when he enters them. So perhaps Joyjoyland was originally a place shaped to haunt Beers and the memory of her Hungarian influencer. I'll leave you to speculate on that one. The final shot of the trailer seems to take place at the bottom of the facility and be part of an escape sequence. Doug finds himself in a smelting area where no doubt the failed animatronic scrap is melted down. It resembles the facility seen at the end of Terminator 2, a movie that certainly influences this zone. We do know from a music track released last year on Glowstick's YouTube account that a self-destruct sequence will be initiated at some point during the Joy Joy Land stage. Self-destruct sequence has been initiated. Repeat, self-destruct sequence has been initiated. This seems to be that sequence. We can see a countdown of 3 minutes and 40 seconds in the distance. It is likely after defeating the Joy Kill boss, Malak, or one of the other Joy Joy gang themselves, rig the place to blow in a last ditch effort to stop Doug from escaping. Given that the timer is likely to begin at 4 minutes or more, then it seems logical to conclude we may have to navigate back through every single zone and reach the entrance of a park in order to escape the blast radius, making this the longest and most taxing gauntlet yet. At the very end of the trailer we hear the Joy Joy gang laughing, presumably at Doug. I don't think there's much to analyse about this particular audio, but it is interesting as it obviously comes from a cutscene or a deaf animation and gives us more of an idea of how these characters will sound when working together. <laughs> Now we've looked at the trailer in some detail, let's tackle the teaser screenshots. The first teaser released was this image of Mama Bear and one of her trigger teddy kin conversing with Malak outside this woodland cabin. Those of you with sharp memories will recall that this is the area shown off last year in an Instagram post from developers Glowstick Entertainment. It seems this cabin and the surrounding woodland is where Mama and her babies reside. It is then logical to conclude that this is Zone 1 and the location where protagonist Doug first encounters these monsters, with later zones then taking place in the caves shown off in teaser trailer 2. Malak seems to be having an earnest conversation with Mama and her teddy, and from the camera framing here it almost looks like this will be a cutscene not experienced through Doug's own eyes. This could mean Chapter 4 has actual movie sequences, scenes not experienced directly by Doug but tell a story from Malak's perspective too. This is an exciting prospect as it means far more story exposition than we have seen before. Perhaps some of our theories will finally be confirmed or debunked. As to what Malak is talking to Mama Bear about here, well, that remains to be seen. My best guess is that he is warning her of Doug's arrival and how imperative it is for him not to best her. After all, at this point in the game, we are getting dangerously close to rebuilding Beerus' ring altar, an event which would render Malak and his monster army powerless to her control. This scene may also give us insight into Malak's relationship with his monsters and furthermore reveal a little about their origin. I have made a theory about this previously so feel free to check that out, I'll leave a link at the end of this video. This was actually the final teaser released to date, but as it ties into the barely buried level it is probably best to cover it next. As you can see it shows off a scarily close look at the trigger teddies in action. So what is this screenshot showing us? Well while this could be a cutscene, it seems more likely this is a death animation. As anyone who plays or watches Dark Deception will know, when the player is grabbed by their pursuer, a canned animation plays out, leading into a game over screen. Most monsters have a variety of these kill animations and it looks like this is the trigger teddy one. Similar in some ways to that of a murder monkey cluster kill, the teddy's swarming Doug and overpowering him in numbers. 
You can see these teddies look rotten and dirty. This does suggest they have recently emerged from somewhere. Now based on the previous Mama Bear renders, it looks like these teddies will crawl from their mother's open stomach. This would mean Mama Bear's mechanic could be similar to that of a clown cast from Chapter 3, which pulled up next to Doug and spawned in a group of enemies to give chase. The only other point of interest in this teaser is the background itself. From the wooden textures, it suggests this is Zone 1 and would take place inside the cabin seen pictured here and shown off in Teaser Trailer 1. Although, it is also possible this environment is a mine located within the caverns. The final teaser image again doesn't give us too much to work with in terms of theorising. It's simply a cool, fresh look at some of the new enemies awaiting our arrival when we attempt to survive Chapter 4. In this case, Mascot Mayhem Monsters, the Joy Joy Gang. This is one of the few times we've seen animatronic terrors Lucky, Hangry and Penny in their frenzied form. By that, I mean their more cyborg-like form where we see parts of their endoskeleton exposed, particularly the eyes. So with this in mind, it suggests this is a screenshot taken from either Zone 2 or 3 of the Joy Joy Land stage. My bet would be that it's Zone 2, as it lines up with a research and development zone teased in the lucky rap Bad Rabbit. So it seems by midway through this portal, the mascots will have taken on their most dangerous form, suggesting this is going to be one tough stage to survive. In the background we can see the escape room, however it is currently locked. We can also observe danger signs on the walls, they seem kind of redundant. I mean, if anyone is foolish enough to venture this far down into a deadly facility, a few signs aren't really going to do them a whole lot of good, right? But with that said, we've come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed this quick recap of the latest on Dark Deception Chapter 4, and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. Now I'll be covering Chapter 4 with a full playthrough, a few theories, and a look at its secrets too, so be sure to tune back in at launch for my thoughts on the finished game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.